What's poppin' Calisthenics fam? My name is Brennan Myers, and today we're gonna touch on a controversial topic, something that I've been seeing time and time again. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. I would love to hear your answer to this question. Do you believe a powerlifter who can push 500 or 600 pounds in a specific compound movement is any stronger than, let's say, uh, an Olympic gymnast who can do an iron cross? Now, I wanna debunk this question together, and you'll understand why I use the word debunk in just a few moments. You know, there's seven types of strength. Today, we're gonna mention four of them. First off is strength endurance. This is where you're gonna maintain a consistent level of muscle force for an extended period of time. This is also known as muscular endurance. You can think of, let's say, a 10K run, where you're relying on aerobic efficiency to supply oxygen. Then we have explosive strength. This is where you produce max amount of force in the shortest amount of time. You can think of range of motion, getting from point A to point B with the most amount of resistance being applied. You can also think of clean and jerk, or throwing a shot put, for instance. And then we have the two most misunderstood measurements of strength that everyone loves to argue about. Drum roll, please. Maximum strength is the first one. This is the highest level of muscle force that can be produced. And yes, I know what I said, it's the highest level of muscle force. This is when a specific muscle group generates maximal exertion against an external force. This is someone benching, let's say, um, 500 pounds or deadlifting 800 pounds. And then finally, we have relative strength. This is the amount of force generated per unit of body weight. So if someone that weighs 200 pounds can only do eight pull-ups, and then the same person or a different person that weighs 200 pounds can do 10 muscle-ups, then the guy with the 10 muscle-ups has more relative strength. So what the heck does all this mean? It means that arguing over whether or not Olympic gymnasts are the strongest in the world or powerlifters who can squat 700 pounds are actually the strongest is irrelevant. They are both the strongest in their own measurements. An Olympic gymnast can't do an 800 pound squat and a powerlifter can't do an iron cross. So what else can you take away from this? And I still wanna hear your answer to the question below. When you're talking about training or doing anything that relates to fitness, I want you to work on all types of strength, even agile strength, beginning strength, and speed strength. Those are the three that we didn't talk about in this video. Just work on them all. So I think that's all I have to say. Rather than competing against one another all the time, how about we just build each other up and all see the results that we want? It's enough of the fighting. It's enough of controversy. Let's be a team and let's get better together.